So I'm going to do the next codility exercise. It's in the counting elements lesson, lesson four, and it's called missing integer. It's a respectable task, so it should be uh, a little bit difficult. So I've got 120 minutes for one task. So let's go. So I need to write a function that given an array of n integers returns the smallest positive integer greater than zero that does not occur in the array a for example given one three six four one two the function should return five we have one two three four and five is the first missing value above zero Given one, two, three, we should return four. Given minus one, minus three, we sh should return one because the, the missing element is above zero. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. N is an integer within the range of one and 100,000. So that's the length of the array. And each element is an integer within a range of minus 1 million to 1 million. So what we're not going to want to do is start at 1 and loop up to 1 million and then loop through 100,000 potential values from 1 to 1 million. Because clearly that's going to be inefficient um, what I could do is I could make a list of values from 1 to 1 million and then loop through this list removing the values when we see them but that's going to mean setting up a list of a million numbers so that's not so good. Uh, I can't really sort this quickly. Um, so what am I going to do? Okay, I'll do something. Um, I'll think about it as I go along, I think. So... So the test data I'll just put the test in. The first test is this and it should return five. Now this array is between one and 100,000 long. Now the minimum value that could be missing from this array would be the array length plus one because if this was just one, two, three, four, five, six in any order, then the first missing value would be seven. So I think I'm going to create an array or a list, just an array list. Um, and this list is always going to remain in order and it's going to go for going to start at 1 and it's going to go to a length plus 1 a length is n I'm going to put the 
value i. So in other words, if we have six values in our array, I'm going to make a list one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because this is only 100,000, maximum 100,000. The maximum length of this is going to be 100,001, which is not very big. Well, not on the scheme of things. So now I'm going to loop through um, our numbers and I'm going to remove the number i, the number a. I'm creating an integer there because I want it to remove it like an object, not. Um, remove it from uh, from the index. I'm going to turn this into a hash set because otherwise this is going to have to loop from the start of the list all the way through. So the hash set is going to stop it from having to loop through on each remove. Otherwise, I'd be doing a loop within a loop there. Num remove is just going to take it straight out of the hash set. So I've got a hash set of all the possible numbers. I'll remove every number I see. And the first hash set in the list, the first number in the hash set, because the hash set is in order, it's going to be five. If we do one, two, three, the number is four. If we do minus one, minus two, the number should be one. So I think that's it. I think it was the respectable bit of it is because my instincts told me to create a, a list of a million numbers, which would not have been um, so efficient. That is if I've done it right, we'll see. Um, so there's my solution. I just need to import hash set. And I've run the tests already and know that they're going to pass. So I'll submit that and see how that does. I think to create an array of 100,000 and one is not too bad a hash set, which should be fast at removing the elements there. So 100%. So that's passed all the tests. What are the extreme cases are under the performance tests, shuffled sequence up to 100,000 with minus, without minus. Um, yeah, so that was actually not too bad, but I think the thing to realize in there was that we didn't need to consider every number because the length of the array that we're putting in, the minimum value, can, the, where the, ma the maximum minimum value would be that array length plus one. Okay, so that's that. If you've got a better, more elegant solution, then leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching.